Bob. Holy flashback to 1974, guys. This is a kick-ass piece. Hodaka, Pabatko, but from the Pacific Basin Trading Company. This is actually made in Japan, Japanese quality, vintage two-stroke. This is an original paint Wombat 125. Um, just a beautiful piece that we did a whole bunch of work on. I'll go over the work order in a second, but uh, feast your eyes on that chrome tank. The uh, orange period correct Preston Petty fenders. These fenders have been on here since the 70s. I was going to take them off and put a brand new set of orange Preston Petties on there. About 60, 70 bucks to buy a set, but I didn't have the heart because these look so cool and they match the patina on the bike. Chrome fork lowers, the original chrome on the rims looks beautiful. Um, just a kick ass piece. It runs like brand new. The manic mechanic Jeff Castine himself went through this bike and has done quite a bit of work to it. He's been through the transmission, the top end. Um, dismantled the whole motor and re reassembled it and uh, she's ready for prime time. It's been through the detail shop obviously. Uh, it's been steam clean, power, uh, hand washed, degreased. They repainted the frame, uh, repainted the engine, uh, the uh, cylinder itself, polished all the aluminum on it, re repainted the swing arm, the triple clamps, polished the tank, the bars, the forks, the wheels. Uh, it has, if you zoom in closely on the tank badges, those are brand new. Hodaka Pabatko uh, tank badges. They look super fresh and clean. Put quite a bit of money into the bike, over 20 hours labor and, and parts, uh, just under $2,500 of parts and labor. Jeff, when he had the motor apart, went through the air box, the original air box, air filter, uh, rebuilt the air filter, uh, um, bicarbonate, so bicarbonate sodium blasted the inside of the tank, put a new fuel line and fuel filter on it, as you can see, obviously. Uh, the Peacock was rebuilt. Um, just beautiful, beautiful piece. The, uh, he also sent the stator plate, took the stator plate out of it while he had the engine apart and sent it to Rick's, Rick's Electric to have it rewound, so it works beautifully. Um, it's got a new set of handlebars on there, uh, new grips, uh, new kill switch. Um, Jeff went through the transmission and uh, completely dismantled and reassembled the transmission. It's just beautifully. Uh, a new spark plug, again, new, new, uh, new stator. The, uh, while he had it apart, he replaced the engine gaskets in the crank seal also. Um, it's running Sunoco 91 ethanol free fuel with Bellray two stroke oil. Also put a brand new set of tires. Look at, look at, zoom in on the hairy nubs on the front tires. Just something about a brand new set of off road tires. Now, if you're looking for a bike, if you want to get involved in vintage motorcycling and you want a bike that's ready to go, take it to the line at the AHRMA and do some enduros or um, trail rides or fun runs or, or try your, your hand at a motocross, this would be ready to go. Um, rear tires brand new. The, um, Levers are brand new. So parts and labor, just about $2,500 invested in it, and it runs beautiful. These piston port bikes can be a little bit difficult to get running properly, but I'll tell you, my first test ride after warming this thing up, I, I was coming up the driveway in third gear, uh, just set a snail's pace and cracked the throttle all the way open, and just ate the fuel all the way up to, to until it signed off. It just runs fantastic down low, up top the idle circuit. It, it's a... Uh, it's properly tuned. So thanks to Rick's Electric for doing this data for us. That was probably key. I don't know uh, how these were from the factory, but right now it's like brand new. The uh, heritage of the bike, it was owned by the Wizards, one of, one of the Wizards friends who, who he's known since the 70s. He's owned this bike forever. He owned a motorcycle shop, so he kept it in good running order. And uh, that's why it's been preserved so well. This is the original seat cover I'd like to add. T zoom in on the seat cover on here. There's an indication the bike's got very little ride time on it. Uh, original seat cover is in good condition. The stitches aren't messed up on it. The original exhaust system, if you take a close look at the pipe, there's no dents or damage anywhere on the exhaust. The uh, frame rails are in pristine condition. Can, let, me, let me lay it on the side because I always, always like to check out on a vintage bike to see if it has been... I mean, the fact that it's got the kickstand on it and the frame rails are perfect. The foot pegs are perfect. The uh, shifter, the original shifter is nice and straight. The engine cases um, are polished beautifully. Uh, it's got a new chain on it. Um, she's ready to go, guys. The wizard put, uh, excuse me, the manic mechanic, Jeff Castine, put quite a bit of time and effort into this, and it shows in the detail shop, spent a lot of time. Now, we wanted to leave the originality of the bike, so this side cover right here, this is the original graphics from 1974, guys. Wombat 120, usually those are power blasted off or worn off by boots. This, this thing was never 
raced or, or, or abused, pretty much as trail ridden. Has a Preston Petty, period correct fenders, front and rear, and the front number plate. It's a really cool piece. So uh, if you're looking for a classic, that's gonna be a lot of fun, that's ready to go. Look no further. That's the good news. The bad news is we put a total of just under $2,500 in parts and labor into it on top of the, the purchase price. So we can't give it away, but it's, it's gonna be a fair price for a nice running classic that's got tons of curb appeal, as you can see. Any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.